Let's get to business news now with Emma Hatton. Emma, Sky City today posting a massive half-year profit. and What's behind that? Yes, Sky City Entertainment um, posting a massive net profit of $328 million for the six months ending December. Now that's compared with $82.8 million the year before, so up nearly 300%. Um, the reported profit, though, was a lot higher um, because of a couple of big one-off payments. So there was $200 million uh, from selling some uh, its Auckland car park concessions and $240 million uh, in the insurance payout after the convention centre fire. So leaving aside those one-off items, uh, the underlying profit, was down 16% to $75 million, which is more or less where they expected to land. So that's what the company is focused on, is, is that normalised profit, um, down in part due to the fire and disruption around car parking, also the, the city rail link disruption there affecting that. Um, overall, though, business at home is performing well for them. Uh, their properties in Hamilton and Queenstown going strong. What let them down is their international business, bit of a slowdown in Asia. Uh, uh, they're also keeping an eye on things uh, with, of course, the effects of the coronavirus, which are a bit uncertain for them at the moment. So speaking of Sky and the Convention Centre, where are things at with that? Yeah, so damage caused by the fire has been described by Fletcher's as complex. So they're still essentially in clean-up mode, uh, and they will be until mid this year when construction is expected to begin. They've found significant fire damage to the steel supporting the roof. There's mould, as you'd expect, with water uh, in a hot summer. Uh, a huge amount of fire and water damaged fixtures and fittings that will need to be replaced. There's also potentially areas of the facade uh, that is adjacent to the roof that may need to be replaced. Now this will require a specialty product to be brought in from the US. That product will take up to 14 months to be made. So potentially a really long lead in time for actually uh, securing some products. So um, it's not going to be ready in time for APEC next year. Uh, we weren't able to get any indication if it would be done by 2022 either. So, in fact, under the current arrangement that Sky City has with the government, the centre needs to be completed by the 1st of January 2023. So uh, that date may need to be revisited. Mm, interesting. And Sinele Milk share price down dramatically. What happened? Yeah, so Sinlay Milk downgraded their earnings forecast today uh, and the market did not like it. The share price dropped 18%. They downgraded their half-year earnings forecast to between $26.5 million and $28.5 million um, compared with last year's 37.3. Their full-year net profit is also expected to be um, down uh, in the range of 70 million to 85 million, uh, sort of dashing hopes that it would beat last year's 82.2 million. The lower end of that um, that range that they've given is actually quite it's quite it's about a five million dollar range that they've got there because they just don't know what the coronavirus um, impact will be on them as well. So it's a buffer zone, if you like. Uh, the big driver of their downgrade was basically less demand for their infant um, formula product. That's uh, Chinese uh, buyers consolidating overseas. Some of them not quite ready to, um, they don't have their brands registered yet, so they can't get that product in. Um, so Sinlay are a bit disappointed. They were expecting, they weren't expecting that. Uh, they were hoping that they'd have a bit more cash to get things moving at their newly set up Pocono site. Um, that site, of course, a bit messy for Sinlay, who will head to the Supreme Court in April over some covenants that are on the land. Good news, though, for for farmers, the company recently increased its milk price forecast and that figure should stick. And speaking of figures, what were the numbers for the dollar and market close of play today? Yes, so the NZX top 50 index fell 17 points to close at 11,881. The New Zealand dollar is buying at 64.5 US cents, 95.9 Australian and 49.8 British pence. Thank you, Emma. That's Emma Hatton joining us from our Wellington studio with your business news this evening.